Hello everyone. This is the second part of the topic linear approximation. In this lecture we will discuss some problems on linear approximation. Let us discuss another problem. Calculate the linear approximation to the area of a square whose side is 2.01. Also draw a geometric figure obtained from a square of side 2 whose area is exactly that given by the linear approximation. Okay. So here first we have to calculate the linear approximation to the area of a square whose side is 2.01. So we know a square with the side x has the area x square. So we have the equation of the area uh, is a equal to f of x is equal to x square. So the linear approximation at a point x naught is nothing but therefore the linear approximation is linear approximation of f of x at x naught is given by f of x naught plus delta x approximately equal to f of x naught plus f dash of x naught into delta x that is x naught plus delta x whole square is approximately equal to because f of x naught f of x is equal to x square so x naught plus delta x whole square approximately equal to f of x naught which is nothing but x naught square plus f dash of x naught is 2 into x naught into delta x now we have to calculate the linear approximation to the area of the square whose side is 2.01 so uh, we can choose x naught as 2 and delta x as 0 0.01 therefore this implies equation number 1 implies x naught plus delta x whole square that is x naught plus delta x is nothing but 2.01 so 2.01 whole square is approximately equal to x naught square that is 2 square plus 2 into x naught that is 2 into 2 into delta x delta x is 0 0.01 so this is approximately equal to uh, 4 plus 4 plus 4 into 0 0.01 that is 0 0.04 which is equal to 4.04 so this is the approximate value of 2.01 whole square by by using the linear approximation at the point x naught is equal to now we have to draw a geometric figure obtained from a square of side 2 whose area is exactly that given by the linear approximation that is we have to draw a geometric figure obtained from a square of side 2 uh, whose area is exactly this 4.04 so for that we can draw a square consider the squares let the length of this side be 2.01 and here also 2.01 now uh, this length is 2 let this length be 2 and this also 2 okay so we have this be uh, length be 0 0.01 and here also 0 0.01 now what about the area of this square this is the area of this square is equal to 2 into 2 that is 4 area of this square and the area of this square will be 0 0.01 into 0 0.01 that is equal to 0 0.0001 okay now what about the area of this rectangle this is 2 into 0 0.01 and here also the area is 2 into 0 0.01 so the total area will be total area excluding this uh, square we have this is 2 into 2 that is 4 that is uh, the area of this plus the area of this plus the area of this so that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 area of the rectangles 1 2 and 3 so uh, area of 1 is 4 plus area of 2 is 
2 into 0 0.01 that is 0 0.02 plus uh, area of third rectangle is 2 into 0 0.01 that is 0 0.02 so total area is nothing but excluding this uh, area we get 4.04 this is the linear approximation of the area of the square whose side is 2.01 that is 4.04 is that so we obtained a geometrical figure uh, that has the area exactly equal to the area by uh, linear approximation so that is what is uh, we asked in our question okay that is uh, we asked that uh, draw a geometrical figure obtained from a square of side 2 whose area is exactly given by the linear approximation so uh, the area given by the linear approximation is 4.04 .04. so we need to draw a geometrical figure uh, in which uh, the total area is equal to 4.04 it will be obtained from a square of side 2 so we have taken a square of side 2 and then we extend this to like uh, this like this and we obtain the area of these three uh, portions as 4.04 so the total area of uh, a rectangle of side 2.1 is nothing but 2.01 into 2.01 uh, the actual area of the rectangle of side 2.01 is 2.01 whole square. So the difference between uh, the area by linear approximation and the actual area is nothing but the area of this rectangle and this is 0 0.0001. Next question, calculate an approximate value for 2 divided by square root of 0 0.99 plus 0 0.99 whole square and compare with the numerical value on your calculator. So first here we need to find the approximate value for this that is 2 by square root of 0 0.99 plus 0 0.99 whole square. So we can take f of x as let f of x is equal to 2 by square root of x plus x square because we have to find the value of 2 divided by square root of 0 0.99 plus 0 0.99 whole square therefore by linear approximation we need to find the value of f of 0 0.99 because f of 0 0.99 is 2 divided by root of 0 0.99 plus 0 0.99 whole square so we need to find this so to find f of 0 0.99 by uh, linear approximation that is to find f of 1 minus 0 0.01 this can be written as 0 0.99 can be written as 1 minus 0 0.01 so we can choose x naught is equal to 1 and delta x is equal to negative 0 0.01 therefore x naught plus delta x is equal to 1 minus 0 0.01 so we will get this value so by linear approximation we have by linear approximation we have f of x naught plus delta x is approximately equal to f of x naught plus f dash of x naught into delta x so f of 1 minus 0 0.01 is approximately equal to f of 1 plus f dash of 1 into delta x delta x is negative 0 0.01 okay so we need to find f dash of x here so f of x is equal to 2 divided by square root of x plus x square implies f dash of x is equal to by quotient rule we have square root of x plus x square into derivative of 2 that is 0 minus 2 into derivative of square root of x plus x square that is 1 by 2 root x plus derivative of x square is 2x divided by square root of x plus x square whole square so this is f dash of x we need to find f dash of 1 therefore f dash of 1 is equal to 
this is zero actually so minus zero minus two into one by two root one plus two divided by uh, root one plus one whole square see in the denominator we have two square that is four so we can divide this two so we'll get this is four plus one that is five by two so five by four minus five by four will be this okay so we have this therefore from equation number one the linear approximation is nothing but f of 1 minus 0 0.01 is approximately equal to f of 1. So we have f, f of x equal to this. So f of 1 is 2 by 2 that is 1. 1 plus f dash of 1 is equal to minus 5 by 4. So minus 5 by 4 into negative 0 0.01. So that is uh, the linear approximation. So this is equal to uh, by simplification we will get it is 1.0125 so f of 1 minus 0 0.01 is approximately equal to this that is f of 1 minus 1, 0 0.01 is actually this is 2 by square root of 9 uh, 0 0.99 plus 0 0.99 whole square is approximately equal to 1.0125 so this is the approximate value of this now by actual calculation we will get by calculator we get this 2 by square root of 0 0.99 plus 0 0.99 whole square is equal to uh, if you are using our calculator we will get 1.0126134 okay so this is the linear approximation and this is the actual value by using calculator now you try to do these problems.